How to interpret pile cap analysis in SAFE. As a final installment of our three-part video series on the design of pile cap, we will be discussing how to provide the pile cap reinforcements according to SAFE analysis results. Before we proceed, please hit the bell button and subscribe. After reviewing our model for punching shear check and pile reactions, you can proceed with determining how many rebars are needed in the top and bottom of our pile cap. Click the display, show slab design, or simply click the slab design icon. On the slab design window, drop down to strip base as our design basis. Click the untick box and click apply. Here you can see the overview of the area of the top and bottom rebars that the program recommends. To show the bottom reinforcement at layer A or X direction, tick the show bottom rebar and choose strip direction as layer A. Set the typical reinforcing and define T16 at 200 for top reinforcements and T20 at 200 for bottom reinforcements as our main mesh. Click apply and it will show the extra bottom bars in X direction as additional to the main mesh. Do the same procedure to check for any extra bars needed in the layer B or Y direction. Check the extra top and bottom reinforcement using the same step and it will show the area of extra top reinforcements needed for the design. Note that as a designer, you have the full control in assigning the mesh reinforcement, and the program will tell you the area of extra bars needed according to the mesh that you provided. If you increase the mesh, for example, the number or area of extra bars need will be lessened. But in this example, let's consider the T16 at 200 top and T20 at 200 bottom as the main mesh. To explain it in detail, let us take a look at the extra bottom that the program recommends. We can see that we need 3836 square millimeters of the rebar area at X direction as shown in the result. Let us provide reinforcement according to its locations and the extent of its distribution. Convert the area required in terms of bar diameter and spacing. Measure the length of this rebar accordingly, either through coordinates or using dimension icon in the safe model. The same procedure can be performed in the extra bottom at Y direction. Extra top at X direction and at Y direction.
if you want to show the number of rebars required instead of the area of rebars. Go to display. Show slab design or click the slab design icon. Select the show the number of bars of size and assign the diameter of rebar that you wish as top and bottom bar size. And the rest is the same procedure as previously discussed. But this time, the required number of rebar that you assigned were displayed. Follow the same procedure accordingly to complete. The sketch of rebar output results, according to the analysis, is then be forwarded to your draftsman for pile cap detailing. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more.